Thai street food is perhaps the most accessible of all types of Thai cooking. It's the one that you immediately come across when you come to Thailand because over the 30 years I've been going to Thailand I've noticed there's been an increasing difference in the way that Thais eat and more and more and more people eat on the streets to the extent that nowadays some of the main thoroughfares such as Sukhumit or Silom or Saton or, or any of the other major streets of Bangkok are more like restaurant corridors than um, that, those roads made for cars and you walk down and you're just confronted, no, almost battered by an array of smells, textures, flavours, stalls and ingredients that just literally you have to stumble over to get anywhere. And that makes the Thais happy because after all, when you've been to Thailand, or actually when you've been to Thailand, you just know it's all about the food. It just is all about the food. And when you eat on the streets, you can let well understand why, because it is the most ravishing food. I used to disdain street food as being something a little bit common, a little bit ordinary and a little bit like simplistic, and it is, but it's damn delicious. It has wonderful photography, which has captured the warmth of the people, the grace of the people, the humour of the people, uh, and certainly the allure of the food. Earl Carter is the most wonderful photographer. The recipes ain't too bad either. Have a look, you know, have a taste. If you can't get to Thailand, you might as well look, look at the pictures and even try some of the dishes. So, long chim as they say, go and have a look and go and have a try.